So, I was planning to go ahead with statistics next. But, and then I got, and then I got a whole heap of messages, Instagram, Gmail, YouTube. So, we have to follow what the people want and give them vectors. that students think vectors is more complex and abstract than it really is so this video I just want to take some time to conceptualize and generate the idea of how you should be thinking when you think of vectors right let's suppose we have two points and I name these points and I name these points A and B let me just darken up those points A and B if I want to travel this along from A to B, that is a vector. So a vector is just a directed line segment, piece of a line in a direction from A to B. And let's say to go from A to B, I will have to go across here. This is looking at it from the X or the horizontal. I'll have to go across, let's say four, and then go up three, or let's say I go across five and then go up four. That means A, B, and this is how we write vectors AB from A to B arrow is equal to 5 4 so in this format the 5 here represents the X value and the 4 here represents the Y value so the X is how much we move horizontally and the Y is how much we move vertically now if I created another point let's say maybe P and Q and I said I want to go from P to Q then I could come out with the next vector P to Q and maybe I'll have Q here and P here so that vector looks like that P to Q now you notice that this vector still goes across so this vector may still maybe going across we'll say vector PQ let's let him go across um, one number you've seen a feeling that you're saying 2 and let him go down 3 now the problem is it's going down so if it's going down we have to indicate that if you're going to the left or going down we'll put a negative sign now the very important thing about vectors and physics people you may know about this is vectors include a magnitude like you see this one is small so he's a little smaller magnitude this one is big so he has a bigger magnitude but it also includes a direction for example, if I turn this around like this, this is not vector AB anymore. This is vector BA. But if I turn it back around, it's vector AB. How about if I turn around this one? This becomes vector QP. Let's see what vector QP would be. Vector QP would mean that I... I'm going to the left two units and I'm going up 3 now if you compare now if you compare QP with PQ you notice a little something happening there it's the negative inverse the additive inverse so we can actually write stuff like this QP is equal to negative PQ and that's a concept we use a lot in vectors so what are some fun things we can do to vectors? Well, we can name them. This vector is named after the two points that it connects, so we'll call it MN. And this vector just has a nice useful one simple letter, and the letter must be common. So this vector is called A. We can add them. If we have a vector A and we set it to be 4, negative 3, and vector B is 2, 1, adding A and B together, we'll add the X terms, then the Y terms, and arrive at an answer so this is the answer for a plus b we can subtract them vector pq is equal to 10 4 rq is equal to 6 negative 1 if we subtract the vectors very similar to addition we use the x terms and the y terms to arrive at our answer we can multiply them by a scalar the scalar here is just this number it represents a number so when you see scalar you can think number a is set at 4 5 so 3a will be 3 times the x value 3 times the y value, 12 and 15 respectively. Let's look at another version of multiplying by a scalar. AB, 
is set at negative a3. Half of ab, the half here represents the scalar or the number outside of the vector. And similarly to the last example, the half will multiply by the negative 8 and by the 3. Half of negative 8 is negative 4, half of 3 is 3 over 2. And as you know, when dealing with matrices and vectors, we try to keep things in fractions rather than go to decimals. Let me introduce one last concept about vectors and we'll end this video. Position vectors. These are vectors that start at the origin. Origin is represented by O. So for example, if I'm told to plot the point A43, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and I'm told to plot this point, it's going to be here. That's point A. What is the position vector OA? A quick trick to find the position vector, and this simple process is tested in CXE, is to just Imagine yourself turning this horizontal coordinate vertical. So OA is going to be 4, 3. And a visual representation of that will be if I connect the point O to the point A. So that is the basic concept of vectors right here. In the next video, I'm going to show you the most important rule, most important formula known to man. Well, the most important formula in vectors. So I will show you that formula, I will show you two other formulas that come regularly in formula and concepts and two other concepts that come at the ending of the question that you should be familiar with in vectors. So stay ready for that video by getting subscribed and pressing the notification bell and I'll send another video later today.